Hello and welcome. Now in this video I'm going to be telling you about the killer application of Webinar Fusion Pro. And in order to do this, uh, you are going to need the automated feature inside of Webinar Fusion Pro or the automated edition. Now what you're doing is you are going to be sending visitors to an on-demand webinar. So they're going to click a link and they're literally going to show up on a webinar that's going to start in 13 seconds and that's going to give you a lot of options I'm going to tell you about them here in this video now um, you're going to be able to populate them with user comments so using our fusion bot you are going to then be able to populate it with user comments and some people feel differently about this you may or may not want to make it appear live you may not want to have user comments on there but you do have the option if that's something that you do um, you are going to have the ability to interact with them live, um, you know, if they have questions or if they answer. Or, of course, you can always go back and answer their questions by reading the log. And then you can have your offers pop up automatically at the right time. So you're going to determine ahead of time when you set that automated webinar where those offers are going to set are going to pop up before the visitors inside the webinar system you can use your video or somebody else's so you don't have to use yours if you if you don't feel confident that you can deliver and you can really get people to buy on a webinar you can always use somebody else's uh, when as long as you have their permission prior permission <laughs> and then of course with with this way you can test and tweak your conversion so you can continue to play around with the offer continue to show it at different times what you really can do is to set up ahead of time and then you'll be able to tell what's working and what's not and you'll keep adjusting it until it's actually working and actually making you sales what you're developing here is an automated sales machine with webinar fusion pro and when you start thinking about that being able to send visitors to an on-demand webinar you combine that along with surveys right you combine that along with being able to send people to uh, a, a webinar based on their specific answer then you've really got a lot of power so now let's actually go and talk about how you would set that up now I'm inside of webinar fusion pro but that's not necessarily where everything starts as I said everything's really going to start with you having a video and you can actually have a video that you have set up or that somebody else has done now provided that you that if you're going to use somebody else's video you do have their permission to use it and upload it to your channel what you're going to do is make sure that video gets into your channel and that you upload it now I do want to show you a couple of things I'm actually going to go to this video um, and we're going to take a look at it here but let's say that I want to cut this part of the video out right I'm looking at this video and when I get it up into YouTube this is not what I actually want in the actual video so now what am I gonna do I'm actually gonna go to the upload button area and then I'm gonna go to the video editor I'm gonna click edit and then I'm gonna start a new project and then I can call this project whenever I want to I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the only one that's gonna be seeing it so I'm gonna call this um, I'm gonna call this webinar video and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually get the video that I'm gonna be editing right remember we talked about the fact that I'm there there's a part of this video the one I'm gonna be uploading and I'm gonna actually drag that down into YouTube so then I can start to edit now there there are entire uh, videos and video courses on how to do this how to go through this editing process so I'm not gonna go through that in this particular video but suffice it to say you can actually edit this video so that number one you know where you want the offer to pop up number two you take out anything that's irrelevant so I would almost suggest that you don't have a video any longer than 15 or 20 minutes if you're gonna be doing something you to have people on demand you want them to buy so you go into the video editor and then when you're done YouTube is going to create a new video and they're actually going to put that video they're going to put that video here in your channel right so then all you're really going to need to do then is you're going to need to grab that link address and then you're going to be ready then for webinar fusion pro once you're inside of webinar fusion pro what you're going to do is uh, you're going to go to your recorded webinar videos and then once you get to that screen 
you're actually going to go to upload a new video. And when you get to upload a new video, what you're going to do is you're going to put in the YouTube URL and then you're going to rename the video. So you're going to actually name it uh, webinar video. Now I'm not going to go through this process, but this is what you would do if you have the automated feature. You're going to actually go in and create um, an automated webinar video. And that's how you're going to then be able to have something to use inside of our system. So once you have your YouTube address here, you've got this set up, you've got your webinar video, you can click submit. Now if you wanted to upload one directly from your hard drive, you could do that. Um, I would suggest though that for the, the, the best use with the system that you put it in YouTube and then you click submit. That is probably going to be the best best of all worlds and best possible option in terms of being able to work with the system. Now let's go to the next step. What we're actually going to do now is we can actually we can either do one or two things. We can edit an existing webinar or we can create one uh, totally from scratch. And in this particular case I'm going to go ahead and create one totally from scratch. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that this is recorded. So that takes the date field away. And then, you know, if I'm going to be doing anything with my autoresponder, I'm going to put that information in here. I'm not going to cover that in this particular video. Now, what we're going to do here is we could either use the vMerge feature. And in this case, I don't have to use a vMerge feature because I'm just going to make an offer with a video, right? I'm just going to make a webinar offer. <laughs> and what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go and get my recorded video. Right now, you might wonder, okay, well, that, that recorded video is actually one of the videos that you would have already set up. And so you would have uh, imported your video over. Once that video then says ready, you can then go and actually add it to your recorded video. Now, in this case, I'm not worried about the everyday or anything like that. Um, I, I do want to put in here um, the admin email. Right, and the admin email is what I'm going to be able to use in order to comment in the actual recorded video while it's going on. So what I can do here is I'm going to put in, um, you know, my support address. You would put in whatever support, whatever address you'd use in order to log in, and then you'll be ready. Okay, once you do that, then you can actually click Save Module. Now in this case, you probably do want to put your presenter in here because that's going to be you. I don't really care about the registration page so much. What I do though care about then are my offers. And so I'm going to go ahead and click offers here. And when I get to that page, then what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to go and create, uh, click here to create, uh, create an offer. I'm going to give that offer a name. Once you do that, then what you're going to be doing here is you're going to then choose a image URL. In this particular case, I would suggest you use uh, one of the uh, software boxes or the buttons or some kind of marketing image. Um, you're going to put your button text on there, which is going to be your call to action. And then this button URL is going to actually go to your offer. Now, I'm going to actually give you a little, a little tip here, um, a couple of things here. Now, um, you can actually send people to the sales page if you want to, or you can send people directly to your, uh, your buy page. Now, what I will warn you about is that if you have affiliates promoting your offer, you're not going to want to uh, put, just put the button code in there or the buy, or the buy button code. But if, if, you are, if it's just you making the offer, you're not going to have affiliates, you can actually send people directly to the checkout page. And the reason you want to do that is to eliminate steps. If you've already gone through the webinar and you've made the, you've made the pitch and you've made your case, you can't actually send people directly to uh, this buy area, right? Okay, so so when you do that, I'm just going to put a URL in here. I'm going to put in my, I'm just going to put in my web address. You would put in whatever your buy button is going to be, and you click uh, and you click that, and then that offer is going to actually be there with uh, with an image. And when you're going to be able to preview it and make sure it looks the way you you want it to. Now in this particular case, you'll notice that I've got a buy button. It doesn't have an image because we didn't put one in there, but you'd have your your marketing image in there where it says killer uh, killer app offer. 
Now, I'm not going to go ahead and set up polls, but you can actually set up a poll <laughs> to to uh, go off inside of your automated webinar. Again, this is a this is a sales webinar that we're putting together, so we're not so much worried about that. The Fusion Bot is where you're going to be adding the chat, right? If you want chat to appear, if you wanted to make it look like uh, people are actually there, I I, I don't tend to do that. Um, I know a lot of marketers who do. And, uh, and and they like to give uh, give the give the environment of the uh, of a sense of live, right? And you can do that using uh, the fusion bot. So again, this is a style thing. So you don't you don't have to do that. And honestly, um, the only style that you want is the one that converts. If you find that you're using the fusion bot, and depending on how you deliver your content. If you need uh, that commentary there and it helps you to convert, then use it. If not, then you know just make sure you're testing it, but you do have the option here. Now, uh, one thing that we want to do here is I want to go to the link area. And you, you notice that you've got a webinar link, you've got a link to share on Facebook, you've got a webinar guest link. And what we're going to be doing is we want to look at two kind of links. One is going to be the anytime link. Right, the other one's gonna be the webinar guest link. Right? And so there are two different kinds. Now this one is gonna require a name and email address in order for them to get on and see the webinar. You can do that. This is not going to require them to do anything. So if your desire is just to make sales or if you're sending people and they're from your list, you're gonna use this anytime link and this is the on demand link. Both of these links are actually on demand webinar guest link and anytime link they're pretty much going to be watching that webinar uh, pretty much right away but uh, again if you if you're not if you don't you don't really need somebody to opt in you're going to actually pick up that webinar link and actually put that you know, someplace where they can actually see it now I'm going to put that webinar guest link in here so that we can actually see what it's going to look like with your with your buyer and uh, they're going to click that link, or they're going to you're going to put it into their uh, uh, their browser. And what's going to happen is um, they're going to come to here, and it's going to say that the webinar is going to start in ten, nine, eight, and it's going to count down. So that's pretty much what they're going to see, you know, kind of starting right away. And uh, and so they really will have an on-demand webinar, and you're actually going to be able to make sure that you have things happening when you want them to happen in the webinar. So the offers, the polls, and then the fusion chat, and then remember, I mean, you're also going to be able to interact with them live uh, through that email address. Okay, so that really is the uh, killer application to Webinar Fusion Pro. Uh, this will actually get you to be able to use the system in a way to promote affiliate products. It'll get you a way. It'll 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 give you a way to promote your own product if that's what you need. But and you'll also give you the opportunity to to uh, to leverage other people's videos. Again, remember everything's going to start with a video you're going to get from YouTube, which you are going to then uh, you're going to then use inside of Webinar Fusion Pro. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.